Hello basketball players, today I'm going to talk to you about the highest paid Canadian athlete ever and that is Jamal Murray. Jamal Murray is one of the best players in the NBA in my opinion. He is able to do what a lot of players his height are unable to do and this year which is the 2019-2020 season, I think he is going to be one of the best players in the NBA. There's a reason why they gave him a max NBA contract. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about five of his moves that he uses in game that you can do as well, some with practice and some without practice. Let's just get down to it. Okay, so the first move that he does is the hesitation. And how he does it is... Uh, pretty much the same but different than every other player. So what he does with his hesitation is he will either do a hesitation and a shot or a hesitation, a crossover and a drive towards the rim. Let me show you what I mean. So in his first move, or at least the first move I'm going to talk to you, talk to you about is the hesitation. So he's going to be dribbling along the perimeter and then he, what he basically does is he stops and then he crosses and then he goes and takes a shot or he drives towards the rim. Let me show you this in quick fast speed. And then he also incorporates the hesitation with a pull up jumper. So those are some of his hesitation moves that he uses in game that you can use as well. Okay, so now the next move I'm going to talk to you about is not necessarily a move with the ball. It's a move without the basketball. So what he does is when he gets that ball, whether he's dribbling it up the court or not, when he passes, as soon as his defender looks away and his defender is now, Instead of defending him like this and keeping his eyes this way so he can see both the ball as well as his player, if his defender turns and just looks away from Jamal Murray for one or even two seconds, Jamal Murray right away notices that. He watches his defender and he cuts back door where he gets that pass and goes in for a nasty slam. Now, of course, depending on your age, you might not be able to dunk. However, this is a move that any basketball player can use no matter what age he's at. So if you're around the perimeter or even in the high post and your defender looks away from you for two seconds or even less, what you need to do is have eye to eye contact with the player who has the ball and cut towards the rim with your hand up. Hand up means lob it or pass to your hand. Hand down means a bounce pass and then you can go in for your layup. Now, if your teammates are not making eye contact with you, as soon as you take that first step, so as soon as your man looks away and you take your first step, what you need to do is say, hey, I'm open, and then they'll get you the ball. You can't be doing it when you're already cutting towards the rim. If you've already taken two or three steps in, you're saying, hey, I'm open, by that time, your, your player with the ball is not going to be able to pass you in time. So what you need to do is do it in your first step. That way, you're able to get that ball. Because if you're saying, hey, I'm open, it's going to be way too late. You're not going to be able to catch it on the run. And you're going to be, your shot's going to be a lot slower. While instead, if you do it while it's your first step, and then you get bugs that land in your glasses, but you take your first step, and you say, hey, I'm open, and then he passes it to you in your stride for the basket, you're able to go up for that shot without having to stutter step or anything like that. And if you do it too early, saying, hey, hey, your man takes the, takes the ball, and your, your defender goes and looks at your, your, the guy with the ball, and you say, hey, I'm open, and then you cut, the guy who is defending you is going to be dropping off saying, no, you're not open anymore. So you need to really make sure that you do it on your first step. And that's going to allow you to be wide open.
Okay, so now in our third move that I'm going to show you today with Jamal Murray is going to be the 360 fadeaway that he tends to do with a lot of different players in roughly the mid post. So even though he's a guard, he's able to use moves like these to be able to score on his opponent. So let's just get down to it. Okay, so what he does is he'll be dribbling up. Either he could be going quickly or he could be going slower and bodying the opponent. And then what he'll do is he'll do a spin move away and do a fade away. Now, what this is able to do for him is he's able to create space. So if you're able to basically pivot, land that left foot, pivot away, and that would have been your last step, and now you're turning, and now you've created two steps of separation between you and your defender, and now you're fading away, you're able to now get that shot over top of that defender. So it's gonna look like this. And now that's able to help you be able to score much faster, a lot easier on your opponent. Even if you're smaller, you can still do this against taller defenders in the low post. Now let's see Jamal Murray do it himself. Okay, so in the fourth move that I'm going to show you today that Jamal Murray does, a lot of players to freeze their defender. And what I mean by that is the defender, they're going to be going to play really tight. And then all of a sudden, instead of them being on their toes and ready to really react to whatever that player is doing, what they tend to do if you're just doing dribbling moves in one single location is they go back on their heels, which means that they are a dead player. They're no longer able to really defend you if you do a quick move. So Jamal Murray is able to do this. So what a lot of players do is to freeze a defender, they'll just kind of kind of like test the waters where they'll go and dribble through the legs and back and legs and back and they'll do this a few times. Kawhi Leonard does this himself but instead what Jamal Murray does is he'll do a reverse dribble whether it be through the legs or not it doesn't really matter but he'll do like a reverse dribble and then when he gets to this part he'll start doing like a scissor dribble and then it'll get to a point where the defender is going to then fall back down onto his heels and that's going to allow Jamal Murray to essentially take that shot. So it's going to look like this. So now the fifth move that Jamal Murray does in games is something that he does with the ball. It's not necessarily a scoring move, but it is something that leads to a scoring move. And that is basically leading his defender into the screen and roll. So what I mean by that is when a player comes up and sets a screen for you, and then what you're gonna do is you start by dribbling away from the screen, you cross over, you have that screen ready for you, and then he gets pinned on that screen, and you can go up for that shot, or you can dump it down for an assist. Now, any basketball player can do this, and in reality, every basketball, should, basketball player should do this. So all you have to do is wait for your screen to come. And at first, you're going to be starting to lead your player away from the screen. You can even go in and fake a drive, like if you're going to go that way, so that now he's leaning in that direction. And then you lean him into a screen, and then you can go up for your shot. So now, here is a video clip of Jamal Murray doing that himself. Now I hope that this video helps you be able to score and get more assists in your next basketball game. If it does, let us know in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you and I will see you guys again tomorrow for another twice a day basketball video.